Thank you for choosing a Gree ductless split system. In this video, you'll learn how to mount the indoor unit, set the outdoor unit, connect refrigerant lines, make electrical connections, route the drain, and do a startup. It's so much easier than you'd think. A service technician can complete a typical job in less than half a day. Before we get started, please take a moment to read and understand the warnings, cautions, and notes in the installation guide included with the outdoor unit. It's important only licensed contractors install the system. Be safe and follow all local building and electrical codes to avoid injury or damage to the unit. Once you're ready for installation, locate the placement for the indoor unit. Selecting an exterior wall of the house is ideal. Installation is easiest when the indoor and outdoor units are close together. Leave the proper clearance on all sides as detailed in the installation guide. Next, locate the placement for the outdoor unit. Choose a spot that's easy to level off or one that already has a solid pad. It should be at least 12 inches from the house or any other structures for proper operation and maintenance. You'll need wiring and a disconnect box rated for the unit's voltage and current near the outdoor unit according to local code. Now that you know where the grease system is going, it's time to put it in. Start with the indoor unit. With the mounting bracket still attached, measure the center point of the unit and mark the point on the bracket. Remove the bracket and match to the center line on the wall. Keep in mind the bracket isn't centered on the unit. Attach the bracket to studs or with anchors. Make sure it's perfectly level. There's no need to pitch it toward the drain hose. The refrigerant lines in grease systems can be installed in the wall or through the wall. Mark and drill the piping hole at a slight downward angle to the outside. The unit is versatile enough for the hole to be made on either side of the bracket and the condensate hose can be relocated from the factory position to the other side. Feed the refrigerant line and power cable from the outside through the wall. You can fill the hole with a piping sleeve to prevent damage to wiring and the pipe. Next, measure the refrigerant piping to length and gently bend it. Test that the factory holding charge is present by loosening the factory flare nut. You should hear a hissing noise. If there's no hissing, leak test the indoor evaporator to confirm that there are no leaks. This can be done now or after the system is piped up. Now you can mount the indoor unit, stage and connect the refrigerant lines, and run the condensate line outside. Start indoors, then move outside. Over-tightening flare nuts may cause damage. Make sure the drain hose isn't kinked. Wrapping it in insulation is required to prevent sweating, which can lead to water stains or damage to the wall. The exterior will need caulk to help properly seal the hole. Next, connect the indoor and outdoor electrical wiring using 14-gauge, four-wire stranded cable. See the GREE system installation guide for a wiring diagram. Route the power wire from outdoors to the interior control box. Utilize the strain relief to support the wire. Make the connections to the terminal block per the diagram. The wiring for number one, two, and three must match exactly on the outdoor and indoor units. Number two is for communication wire, and one and three are for high voltage. Use number four for grounding. Now you can connect the outdoor unit. Make sure it's properly placed on a level pad at least 12 inches from the house. Position the fan away from the structure. For colder climates, install the riser legs. Then install the outdoor condensation drainage. It's recommended on the outdoor unit to install the drain fitting provided to route the condensing and defrosting water to an adequate location. Next, route the indoor unit's power wire to the outdoor control box. Utilize the strain relief to support the wire. Make sure the connections to the terminal block exactly match on the outdoor and indoor units. Reference the wiring diagram if needed. Route from power disconnect to the control box according to local code. Terminate power wire at terminal L1 and L2. Once everything is connected, perform a leak test. Add dry nitrogen under adequate pressure to leak test the indoor and outdoor flare fittings with a soap bubble solution. If no leak is detected, pull a vacuum to evacuate the system and open the valves. For applications where the line set is longer than the factory pre-charged length, additional refrigerant charge is needed. The hard work is done. Now you can start up the newly installed GREE system. 
Engage the outdoor disconnect switch to energize the system. Add the batteries to the remote and start the indoor unit. It'll work within 25 feet. The fan will engage and remain on at all times. This is how the system keeps consistent temperatures, eliminates hot spots, and filters air. Press the mode button for cooling, lower your set point, and to verify the display is working properly. The room will start feeling comfortable very quickly. It's time to show your customers the features of their new GRI system. You can give them the owner's manual with instructions for the remote control that came packaged with the indoor unit. Point out the iFeel, turbofan, and swing louver, as well as the filters that will keep their air virtually allergen-free. Show them how both the indoor and outdoor units are as quiet as a ceiling fan. And let them take in the true comfort of their new GRI system. For any additional information, visit GreeCooling.com.